It's official that Takashi 69 is back and it seems like nothing has changed. After the release of his new song Gooba and his first Instagram live video, we have all seen the side of Takashi that we were used to before he got locked up. Not everyone though has been happy about him being back in the game and there have been a lot of rappers that have reacted to him being released in his new song which is what we will show you in today's video so stay tuned you will not want to miss these reactions. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of 6ix9ine, and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now, for those that are new to all of this, just a quick update on his situation. 6ix9ine was recently released from prison early due to the coronavirus, and he has been serving the rest of his sentence at home. During his lockup, he signed a $10 million record deal, which is what he has been working on during his home lockup. At the beginning, he was very quiet and staying very low key, but recently that has all changed because he was recently allowed by the judge to shoot and record music videos in his backyard, which is what he has been doing. And now we finally have seen the first music video and social media appearance from 6ix9ine in almost two years. Many of us were curious to how he was going to act and how he was going to handle the whole rat and snitching situation, but like most of us thought, including me, he handled it exactly how we expected him to. His new song Gooba was basically all about how everyone is mad that he's back out and he's back in the game. He even had a part in the video with the rat face over his face while he was laughing. That shows us that his trolling personality has not gone anywhere and he is still the same 6ix9ine. During his Instagram live video, he explained his situation and basically said that he did nothing wrong because why would he be loyal to the people that beat him, robbed him, and slept with his baby mama. He said that he brought them up and helped them out of their situations and gave them money and all they did was turn on him, so why would he be loyal to them? Y'all didn't really have a reason to dislike me just because I screamed in raps and I got rainbow head. That was y'all reason, right? Or oh, he's mad. The go-to is, oh, he snitched. He's a rat. He's a rat. So that's y'all go to, which I understand and I don't blame y'all. I can't blame you. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my fans because they don't deserve that. My, my, my family, my mother, my family don't deserve that. And I'm sorry. In my opinion, I think he has a very valid point in all of it. But obviously that is not everyone's opinion. And many people have spoken out about that. Meek Mill was probably the most vocal on the situation. After posting multiple tweets about 6ix9ine, he said that he needs to apologize and also he said the song was trash, it was super trash, and he basically just bashed 6ix9ine and everything about him. 6ix9ine did respond like most of us would expect him to, saying that it's funny how Meek Mill has a baby and he's worried about a rainbow haired kid. He also went at him again saying imagine being this pressed, Nicki don't want you no more, just back and forth between both of them. One major thing that people were pressed about was 6ix9ine claiming the King of New York again. And, and another thing I want to address, for the King of New York shit, let's cut that out. Little boy, sit down. If you don't got this watch, I'm not beefing with anybody from New York if you don't got this watch. If you don't got this watch right here, you a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your forehead. You a little boy. Sit down. King's home. It's over. It's over. Lil TJ responded to this after 6ix9ine called him a little boy and told him to sit down during his live video. For those that don't know, Lil TJ has been going at 6ix9ine for a little while now, so they had a little back and forth. Rich the Kid also reacted to this on his Instagram saying that calling him the King of New York is all cap. There have been many people that have gone at 6ix9ine calling him a snitch and a rat, not just over the past couple days, but over the past year. And all while this is going on, Lil Nas X was over here saying that he looks kinda cute on his Instagram live video. In my opinion, this whole situation has been funny and entertaining and it has caused a lot of reactions. His video was just released, so over time, the more he comes out on social media and the more reactions and responses we will see, I think it's safe to say that we have officially had takashi 69 back and social media is going to be very entertaining once again. I personally do find it very interesting that he has so much freedom with what he says and his social media. But like I said, that's just entertainment for us. So we will see a lot more reactions to this. We will see a lot more comments against him. And we will see if anyone cosigns him and works with him again. So with that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know where you stand on all of this. Did you mix 6 9 and are you happy he's back? Or are you on the side of calling him a rat and never supporting him again? Let me know where you stand in all of this. 
Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of 6ix9ine, and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media, see you in the next one.